That was a fun birthday party, huh, Stewie? That kid was Indian and 11 years old. Where are you finding my friends? Oh, someone's a little cranky. Here, let me put on the radio. Talking about the club, looking around the club, pimping at the club, emphasizing club. Ugh, this is awful. Or am I really lying here with you? My God, who is this enchantress? Baby, you take Oh, isn't that cute? My little Stewie likes Anne Murray. She sounds like an angel. It's like her voice is putting my entire body in her mouth. And oh, just fall in love again Just one touch and then it happens every time And then I go by Just fall in love again And when I do I can't help myself I fall in love with you Hi, I ran away from home do you mind if I live with you? Live with me? My goodness, I feel like I'm gonna pinch myself to see if I'm dreaming. Hot dog, it's real! Mr. Herbert, it's six o'clock. I'm, I'm not really tired yet. Well, you had those three cups of NyQuil. You'll be down soon enough. Okay. Good night, Mr. Herbert. Sweet dreams, Chris. Mr. Herbert, what's life really all about? Well, I suppose it's about trying new things, sampling the sweet and the savory, not being afraid to take everything life wants to throw up on into you. Wow, I never looked at it like that before. Thanks, Mr. Herbert. But don't you think it's scary to try new things? No, Chris. Life is like a new baseball glove. At first, you think you're never going to get a ball in there. But then you oil it up, work your fingers around in there a little, and pretty soon you're pitching and catching. I guess that makes sense. Sorry. You really know how to waste a Cialis, don't you? Only the artist knows the true meaning of their art. Now, Miss O'Keefe, the flowers in your paintings, what do they represent? Oh, wow, that's a really good question. Chris, what did you do with my videotapes? I had a whole system. I was trying to find a good movie to watch. I've never even heard of most of these. Jeffrey at the park, Mikey's scoliosis exam, nephew's somersault compilation. Well, even if you never heard of them, I assume you heard of the alphabet. You want to explain to me how Sammy Popsicle comes before napping various? Jeez, I'm sorry. Well, can we watch Lost Boys? I've heard of that one. Those? Those are different Lost Boys. So, Miss Murray, the reason we came is that we have a question about Snowbird. It's about a relationship, right? No, it's obviously about the fear of growing old. You know, I think you're both kind of right. I guess I always thought it was about human limitation, both mental and physical. Okay, that... that just blew my face off. Well, I hope that helps. It does. Thank you so much, Miss Murray. This has been terrific. Hey, uh, before we go, you mind if I use your restroom? It's a long drive up here. No, go right ahead. We should do something without him sometime. Do you like tapas? Someone invited me out for that once. I thought they said topless. I was like, what? That's a good story. Hey, you know, that was really cool how you told us what Snowbird was about. Well, you know, that's just the way I always interpreted the song. But I suppose Gene probably could have explained it better than I. Who's Gene? Gene McClellan. He wrote the song. I see. But you wrote all your other songs, right? No, all of my songs were written by other people. As a singer, I've been blessed to interpret the works of many gifted, sensitive songwriters. Oh. So you're just a big liar. Sit back down. All right, come on, Stewie, let's go home. Stewie, what the hell are you doing? She's a fraud, Brian, a fraud! She didn't write any of her songs! Well, so that's the case with a lot of singers. It's a very common industry practice. Well, then you're all a bunch of frauds, aren't you? 
A bunch of frauds and charlatans! You want to be a puppet? Then sing for your life, puppet! Come on, spread your tiny wings and fly away! Come on, Anne, sing along! You know it. You didn't write it, but you know it, bitch! The one I love forever is untrue And if I could, you know that I would fly away with you I told you to clean up in here. And why aren't you dressed? We're supposed to have dinner with Judge Maynard and Timmy. Yeah, okay, as soon as I finish this level. No, get your coat on. It's a three-hour drive to that cabin. Can you just cook something here? Excuse me? I am not going to cook you dinner while you sit here in your own mess playing your TV games. Oh, and the martyr returns. Chris, I, I think it's time for you to go. Okay, I'll go. But I want you to know, I faked all my lightheadedness. Mmm, good Kool-Aid. Whoa, whoa. Sound familiar? <laughs> we broke up.